Dear residents, Selamat malam. Tadia wan sang hao. Good evening, everybody. My name is uh, Henry Quack Hien Chuan. How are you all doing tonight? Over the last eight days, I have the chance to meet so many of you. Thank you, truly, for the kind words of support. And thank you for coming tonight, even though this is not the best weather. Thank you. In three days, you will be voting. And when you cast your vote, it is very important to know who you are voting for. Does this person understand you? Does this person care for you? Does this person fight for what you believe in? So let me first share with you what I believe in. Like you, I believe in a caring government that listens. Like you, I believe in a compassionate society. Like you, I want a Singapore that can create a better life for all, regardless of background, race, regardless of language or belief. And like you, I want the right people to bring Singapore forward. Now allow me to tell you more about myself. I grew up in a three-room flat in Beechwood along with six other of my family members. My parents were Chinese educated. My mom was a teacher and my dad was a unionist who then became a businessman. We were no different from most Singaporeans. But as Singapore progressed, my family also progressed and my family also worked hard. I'm grateful to my family. I'm grateful for Singapore for providing me with the opportunities I never had. Now, some of you may be familiar with this. In Kumbun Baru, there's a place called Jalan Lebans. And in Jalan Lebans, there's a Hong Kong cafe. Many, many years ago, it used to be called Sahi Supermarket, Sanxi. My dad used to run that supermarket. And when I was young, I used to be hanging out in Jalan Lebans, running around. Later on, my dad, dad started running a supermarket in Chongfang. So that's why I was running around in Chongfang too. Now, running a small business can be very challenging. But it also can be very enriching. To recognize the regular customers, to know their needs. And over the years, I hope to know every one of you, be your friend, and be part of the community. And now, let me share with you about something I care deeply about, which is to create a better life for all, regardless of background. As a young man, I volunteer as a teacher in a Kaki Bukit Prison School. This experience shaped me. At the prison school, I learned as much as I taught. I got along very well with my students. We shared our hopes and dreams. I was very close to them. The students were e eager to be given a chance to learn. Many of them were very hardworking and focused. But in between the classes, I would think myself. I would think hard about the situation that they faced. Sometimes in life, some of us fall through the crack. Sometimes in life, unexpected things happen. So what we need to do as a society is to get someone to help us back to our feet again. Therefore, creating opportunities for everybody is something that's very important to me. I believe in second chances. I will fight for this. Now let, you, let me talk a bit 
about Kebun Baru. Kebun Baru is at the verge of transformation. Within the next five to seven years, we'll have two new MRT stations, a new development along Lentor Street, the new North-South Expressway, cycling paths, upgrading of HDB estates, upgrading of private estates. So, Kebun Baru will be a much better place. To oversee the transformation of Kebun Baru, I hope you can trust me. But, home is people and not just a place. It is the people that make Kebun Baru so special. Over the last few days, I've walked through almost every street, every block in Kebun Baru. I've met thousands and thousands of you. It is not easy for me to remember all your names, but I remember your faces. I remember your hopes and dreams, your fears and concern. If elected, I will be your voice in Parliament. Your voice in Parliament. In Parliament, when we discuss about housing, I will remember the one among you who had financial difficulties, who is just trying to find a roof over your head. In Parliament, when we talk about entrepreneurship, I remember the entrepreneurs who I met who are just trying to transform your passion into business, who are struggling with cost and bureaucracy. In Parliament, when we talk about our elderly, I will remember not just the faces of our elderly, but also the family members, the caregivers, and the daily difficulties that you all face. I will work with you to find a solution, and I will bring them to Parliament. And I'll do so with you, the people, at the heart of everything we do. In Chinese, we call this Yi Min Wei Ben. Your needs will always be on my mind, and I'll always be on your side. Thank you. As I said in my introductory speech, Singapore is at the crossroads. On the one hand, there's a lot of promise that we can be proud of. Singapore could be a city of tomorrow. We can be an exceptional country, strong, yet compassionate, wealthy, yet responsible. On the other hand, we face many challenges. Our population is aging, and that has tremendous implication to us. We remain a small country in an increasingly uncertain world. Can we achieve our promise? Can we overcome our, pro our challenges? It depends on you, you, you. It depends on all of us on whether we can come together and create a future that we all believe in. So as you vote this Friday, ask yourself these questions. Do you want a compassionate society? Do you want a government that creates opportunities for everybody? Do you want Singapore to remain exceptional? So will you vote for me and the Nissan team? Let's work together to create and build a better Kevin Baru, a better Nissan, and a better Singapore. Thank you and good night. A very good evening, everyone.
thank you so much for joining us this evening at our Nishun uh, rally. I thought I, I spent this evening sharing with you what my dreams are for Nisun, what my dreams are for Singapore, and I think very importantly, what my values are and what my beliefs are. About a year ago, my mother was asked by the media what our family values are. How did she bring me up as I was, when I was a kid? She replied that our family had three values. It was honesty, integrity, and compassion. Indeed, that was what they brought me up with. That's what they taught me. But most importantly, they, they didn't just teach me, they showed me. And that's my parents were my biggest role model. I learned the most from not what they teach, but what they showed me, and what they showed me by example. But they didn't just teach me three values of honesty, integrity, and compassion. They taught me a lot more. My dad taught me a lot more than, than that. It is always painful to talk about my dad because he's passed on. And I, I miss him a lot. But I always share that it is only through him and only through stories of him that you understand why I am the person I am today. My dad spent his last few days in the hospital. And in his last few days, he taught perhaps the most important lessons of the last 37 years of my life. Perhaps it was a summary of all the lessons that he taught me. But the nurses always told us that my dad was still giving feedback, even in his last few breaths. He not just gave feedback, but he numbered the feedback. Somehow he still had the mental capacity to tell the nurse, this is your first, this is the second, this is the third feedback. Feedback so that things can get better. But Teddy knew that the feedback that he gave would never benefit him because he was on his way out. But that was Daddy. He gave the feedback so that others would benefit. He always taught me to speak my mind, to speak up for others, and to always give more than to receive. My Daddy's final wish also was to pass on at home. And when we knew that the time was up, we started to process the terminal discharge. When we were signing the documents, I remember the nurses passed me his MC. And I was surprised because why would you give an MC for my dad who is about to pass on? I was bewildered. And I think the nurses could see that I was shocked. But the nurses told me that it was my dad's wishes that he be given an MC for the time he was away from work. And that perhaps was his last lesson to me. That he was a shining example of what strong work ethic meant. A shining example of what loyalty meant. He worked at his company for 42 years and was employed till his last breath. But honesty, integrity, and compassion aren't just my values. They're not just my family's values, but they're the values of the PAP. And it's for that reason is why I joined the party. But we don't just talk about honesty and integrity at the PAP, we practice it wholeheartedly. We not just talk about compassion, but we enshrine it in our constitution when we talk about compassionate meritocracy. So tonight, I ask for your vote. A vote for a party who will always have integrity, who will always be compassionate. I ask for your vote for a party who have people who, like my daddy, will always speak up for you, who will have strong work ethics, and who will always be loyal to Singapore. I also personally ask for your vote so that I have an opportunity to do more. To do more for Nisun, to do more for Singapore, and to do more in more diverse ways. I ask for your vote, like Henry, so that I can be your voice in Parliament. To not just listen to you with my ears and my heart, but to speak up for you in Parliament. And I... I will speak up about issues that I care about. Animal welfare, volunteerism, parenthood. I will speak up and champion those issues, but more importantly, I will speak up and champion issues that residents of Nisun care about. I will ensure that your concerns are heard in Parliament. 
But the discussions shouldn't be limited to just Parliament. I think it's crucial that we engage you, we get your concerns, your feedback, and make sure that they're incorporated into the bills before we even discuss them in Parliament. And I think that is crucial. Many of you know me as an activist from the advocacy community for the last 14 years. I've devoted almost my entire adult life towards speaking up, towards making a difference, towards serving the community because I feel it is important. But I'm not here today to talk the talk. I'm here today to walk the talk with you. And walk the talk that I've done now for the last 14 years. I started my charity Acres when I was an undergraduate in NUS. Many people told me that I would fail. I was just a small boy with a big dream, with no resources, no support, no money. But I fought passionately to make it succeed. I fought with every last breath to make sure that we would succeed. But along the way, I failed. I failed many times. But I took each failure as an important lesson I had to learn from. And I fought each failure passionately to overcome it. And I never gave up. Giving up was never part of my DNA. And today we have a very passionate team at Acres who come to work every day to make a difference. And I'm privileged now to be given an opportunity to serve the residents of Nisun. I hope you give me an opportunity now to build a community. I will fight passionately, never give up, to ensure that Nisun becomes an iconic hub of the North. We've, we've built, we will build and we will continue building more amenities to ensure that we become an even more amazing and even more vibrant town. But that's the hardware of the town. I also want to focus on the hardware, which I feel is equally important. I want to make sure we develop community projects with the community, run by the community and for the community. I want to make sure that Nishun is not just a place you live in, a place where you work in, but a place that you can truly call your home and a place where all your friends live in. I want to make sure that we strengthen our community spirit, the Singapore spirit. We celebrated SG50 last month. It's been 50 amazing years for Singapore. And as we move to the next 50 years, I hope we not just remember the values that our pioneer built Singapore with, but we ensure that we strengthen these values. We make it even better as we move towards SG100. And so tonight, I ask for your vote. I ask for your vote for honesty, for integrity, for compassion. I ask for your vote for a Nishun team who will always speak up for you who will always be on your side. I ask for your vote so that we have an opportunity to continue working with you, for you, and for Singapore. Thank you, everyone.